completely new obsidian drop is available plus so much more for this weekend only for sea of thieves season 9 community weekend season 9's community weekend is completely different from any weekend we've had in the past and i'm going to tell you everything about it and hopefully the quickest time possible so as normal if you do find a quartermaster or deckhand on the seas you may be lucky enough to get yourself a set of exclusive items such as an obsidian six pack capstan and of course the celestial steed sail set in addition for logging in over this weekend you will get yourself a free touch grass emote and a season 9 community day weekend flag on top of that as always you can nominate people on social media for the funny blue hat or whatever color it really is and there will also be Twitch drops available for all, plus a new Obsidian drop set coming if we do hit a milestone. So the drops that are running for everyone this weekend are the Eastern Winds Ruby Boots, the Gilded Phoenix Cutlass, the Bejeweled Glove set, and finally the Gilded Phoenix Eye of Reach. On top of that, if Sea of Thieves reaches the top 10 spot on Twitch, which is a bit of a lengthy goal, players will be able to get the new obsidian rug as an additional drop and have access to a new obsidian crest that'll be put into your account at a later date just worth saying if you do want any drops and you want to boost that community goal i will be live on twitch throughout the weekend that is the top link of the description or twitch.tv forward slash sin S Y N N. In addition, a brand new event called Pop-Up Plunder will be running in every server across Community Day. After hitting every Community Emissary goal, people on the server will be notified of a highly valuable loot piece that'll be hidden in their server. To find them, you'll have to check Sea of Thieves socials, whether that be Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever, and will be completely randomized from a variety of high tier loot, and towards reaching grade five, this loot will, of course, be be wondrous items assuming the goal has been reached and we've reached the final emissary grade they will be periodically released randomly throughout all sea of thieves servers while logging into this community weekend you'll notice if you go to port merrick there will be a new picture wall installed on the outpost that you can use to snap screenshots with yourself or your fellow friends now we've covered all the important information about what you can unlock throughout the community weekend. I think it's fair that we finish with the most important part and talk about how we can raise the community emissary grade. So here it is. As the viewership for Sea of Thieves goes up through the ranks, this will of course increase levels to the flags, which essentially means as more people engage with Sea of Thieves across socials and Twitch itself, the community value will raise increasing loot and releasing these new items. So in other words, you guys have complete control of what emissary grade we reach. And to support that, I will be live throughout this entire weekend. That is going to be linked down in the description. If you go twitch.tv forward slash sin, S-Y-N-N, you'll be able to watch me live, get drops, and of course, raise this community grade for yourselves in the game. So with that being said, hopefully this covers every access you need to know about Sea of Thieves Season 9 Community Weekend. With that being said, I'm going to catch you all on Twitch, link down in the description and the comments, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.